episode 14, I think, of Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Yeah, this episode is called Derision. And, well, if I remember correctly, I think Derision means making fun of someone. Or like making fun of someone at their expense. If that is what it means, I think this is obviously it's going to be about Chloe. That Chloe is going to be making fun of someone. Uh, because I think that's pretty much the only character in the show that does that, like, openly. Yeah, sure. Leah, is that what her name is? Um, she also does it, but she does it in a more intelligent way. Uh, well, I guess she doesn't do derision then. Because I think derision means doing it, like, openly. Um, kind of like what Chloe does to people. Uh, and if derision doesn't mean what I think, then I'm I'm gonna look very stupid, huh? I wonder if it's gonna be like a, if they're gonna be talking about what happened in the previous episode, you know, with Luca actually leaving, and also the fact that I mean Luca leaving Paris it doesn't really make him safe, and I talked about that in the previous episode how it doesn't really make that much sense to me. Because, I mean, if Hawk Moth knows that, oh, you know the true identities, why wouldn't he just f send someone to follow you, you know, and capture you when you're, when now, when you can't get help from Ladybug and Cat Noir, but. <coughs> and that's why I think the reason why the Luca character left is probably something to do behind the scenes of the production of the show. But I don't know. Alright, that's a nice pillow you have there, that big cat. <coughs> okay, this is a dream. 100% a dream. Marinette wouldn't talk like this with Adrian, even though I would like her to do that. Okay, wait, maybe... Does derision mean something else? Does derision mean that you're a bit, like, loopy? Maybe it has something to do with the dream. He's like, oh god, maybe I need to go to the hospital, you know, to a doctor. Explain to them my symptoms. You should tell Adrian, and you shouldn't swim. If you get these, like, you, you could drown. Why do I have a feeling that this isn't real? That this is all like... Because we keep seeing that... Is that like a phone or something? <coughs> <coughs> and it's not the normal way you feel weird. What are they showing us? It looks like a phone inside of a locker and a bunch of cockroaches. And also I like your I like your swimming outfit. Like, you don't know Marinette as well as we do. Oh, 
Wait. What the fuck? Yeah, this is not tr real. Huh. And now all of a sudden... Oh wait, maybe she's looking back to see why she's feeling the way she's... Do okay, and this is in a different way where she might... She has like feelings for that guy instead of Adrian. I mean, I like your uh, new hair outfit. Hair outfit. I like your new hairstyle. <coughs> and this is when she's like, oh god, I want to stay away from Chloe. Oh wait, is this what happened before that Chloe did something? So is this like a flashback? <laughs> uh, I sure wonder who that could be. Like, uh, shut the fuck up. Boom. I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, uh, and it wasn't funny to begin with. Uh, fuck you, teacher. Like, yeah, I know you can't. You're just mumbling. All right. <coughs> so, yeah, I agree with, like, the, the hippie girl. That's not an excuse. Sure, your mother left when you were small. It's not a fucking excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> so yeah, thanks. If I have parasites in my brain, that's just more brains in my brain, right? All right, hello you. I remember you from that one episode. The one that Hawkmoth thought might have been, you know, Marinette, uh, Ladybug. I mean, it is, I like this episode, but I don't really have much to say because I'm still stuck in, like, what is going on? Like, this is not a flashback. Like, uh, it's not a flashback. Um, 
But why is this happening? Was the first thing we saw, was that actual reality? That she was getting like these panic attacks? And then, is this what she's seeing as she got akumatized? I don't know. Okay. She's going to do something. And then that guy is going to laugh. Because he's going to think that, you know, it's part of the joke that Marinette will like. And then she's going to get very sad. They're like, oh, the boy I like is laughing this way, you know, again, when something terrible is happening to me. <coughs> and I don't think it's just nervous laughing. And it's just like, yeah, no, um... I'm gonna take a look and see what happens. And I also like this swimming outfit on you, Marinette. What is that? He's like, here, here's a... a Or is it like a cockroach or something? Spiders. Oh, okay. So maybe this is something that used to happen. That happened. And the reason she's getting these panic attacks is the fact that she's afraid to tell Adrian that she loves him. Like she's afraid to actually do that. Because what if this happens again? Good job. But I mean that probably like she still has the video. But no way, that probably isn't the case, because Alia is not in the school, right? And they were together, so... Why is this happening? Is this... What she's seeing as she's about to get akumatized? Like, I don't think she has been akumatized. But this is the thing that she's, like, seeing. Okay, if you get... Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like... It happened outside of school, you know? I mean, Chloe's mouth is way worse in this episode than it normally is. It's not because of you. It's because of Chloe. It's not because of you, Marinette.
Right. So this right here is actually what happened. And that is something that just happened. Okay. Alright, so that was a flashback. She's like... She's like, and you... <laughs> and now you're gonna get acclimatized because you're angry. I mean... I mean, okay, he is retarded, but... And like, okay, it was just a joke. But you did get sad to be like, ah, you know what, Marinette? Maybe you should explain that to her after. When you saw that, that, oh, wait, Chloe said that Marinette would like that. But she didn't like that. So... So that was interesting, seeing a little bit of a back, back, oh god, a back flash, a flashback. It's Chloe's. <laughs> Flying, he's kind of like, uh, come on, don't you see I have a bow and arrow? Oh, Jesus. Okay, and this is kind of like the thing that he finds funny. Alright. Well, I like then that Adrian and Marinette actually went to the, the pool together. They were basically going to have a date. So... Hello, what are you doing? <coughs> He's like, well, I don't know how old you are. Oh, and Adrian is angry. You know, because of what he did to Marinette. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I kind of wish this episode didn't... Oh. Good job. But I kind of wish this episode didn't have any commentation thing. Good job, Cat Noir. Even when you're... Oh, okay. Alright, so she can do that. Like, quickly. Wait. Okay. I was gonna be like, are they gonna do like, she, he shoots, it goes in a loop, and then it hits him. But... Like, he's gonna close the hole on the toilet and make it... <coughs> or you trick him into thinking that he hit you.
Oh, what is she trying to do? Is she trying to make his hand get stuck? And then he's gonna she's gonna use his hand to destroy. Oh. No, she's using that to blind him. But at least Cat Noir has some, you know. Oh, okay, well, she's the one that destroyed it this time. Alright, good. Oh god, for a second there I was like, oh shit, is he gonna transform back into Adrian? I don't know why I thought that. You know, like he always does with people. Well, I mean, we have seen him being able to overpower these magical charms before, right? That that has happened. So just talk. Maybe say, oh, you're not sorry, Marinette. You know, joking is fine. No. Like, you can joke. Sure. And you just know that, ah, you know what, I'll not do those jokes towards Marinette again. Dark humor, fucked up humor, is still fine. Well, is this good? This is what I want. They're talking, she's talking about her feelings. And she's telling him. Yeah, as Adrian and Marinette, and as Cat Noir and Ladybug. She's like, oh no, I still ha Yeah, I mean... Okay, I like that she didn't completely get over it, though. She still... F feels the way she does. Because, I mean... Nice. But do you care what I feel? Ah, oh, come on, stand up. This, okay, this seems, to, it might become good, but that he's gonna be like... Okay, good. He's leaving her. Come on, they, they are the girl who's basically Chloe's slave. But Chloe's not forcing her. Like, she's doing it on her own will. Like, yeah, Chloe's treating you like shit. But you're choosing to stay. I actually really like this episode. I was very confused in the beginning. I'm thinking, like, wait. Is this real? Like, the first beginning part, like... This feels like a dream. And then when she got akumatized, I was kind of like, wait, is this like a dream within a dream? They would have made them look a bit younger. 
I think that would have been better. And then I guess Alia and Marinette didn't go to school together for at least three years. Maybe that is something they talked about in the beginning of the show uh, that I completely forgot. I just thought that they were in the same class all the time, you know. And I saw Colleen, the girl who looks like Marinette, like an older Marinette, I guess. And I wonder how long ago that was. So Marinette used to have some feelings for that Kim guy. I think it was mostly because, well, he wasn't a piece of shit to her. Like Chloe. It shows how terrible Chloe is as a person. Even more than we already knew. I mean, we have we know. I mean, Chloe is my least, like, enjoyable character in this. Especially since... They were doing something with Chloe, but then when they introduced Chloe's sister, they completely went back on the character development they did on Chloe. So it's kind of like, are you going to try and introduce new character development for Chloe? If you do, I don't care anymore. Uh, I just, like, what well, I feel like I want Chloe's world to crumble. Like, get rid of that mayor. Hopefully that mayor loses his job. He's no longer the mayor of Paris. Uh, like, he loses whatever election. And then Chloe's friend. Obviously, she doesn't agree with what Chloe... I mean, she was also part of the bullying, you know, of Marinette. So, I mean, she was also bullying. I cannot say that, oh, she's only doing it, you know, because she's afraid, blah, blah, blah. No. She's actively taking part in bullying others. Even if it is kind of like, oh, I don't want to be bullied by Chloe... Well, fuck you then. You know, you're not standing up for yourself or others. Especially not for yourself. You know, when Chloe shit talks you right in front of your face. Like, she shit talks you, then be like, here you go, kiss my hand, do my nails. And you do it. Doesn't matter if you show that, like, on your face, like, oh, I don't like this, I'm angry. You keep doing it, you keep kissing her ass. This was a good episode outside of the acclimatization part, but the acclimatization part, all things considered, was only like two or three minutes. And everything else, I kind of liked. Uh, because to me, I guess them doing those haircuts was kind of like to show that, ah, oh, these they're younger now. Uh, but to me, it's kind of like just those haircuts made me think that, ah, oh, this is like an alternative timeline. Like... When she was getting acclimatized, like she was thinking like of what might be, and I think that might have been what they wanted. And then there at the end to show that oh wait that was actually what used to happen that was the past. And then you go like holy shit that was the past. And then seeing Adrian get really angry at Kim to the point where he was like willing to hurt Kim. You know, for what Kim did. And I like that he didn't go like, oh, he put... I like that he didn't put all the blame on Kim. Um, there and at the end, he did go to Chloe and said, you know what, Chloe? It's over. Like, I'm not your friend anymore. Like, I don't want to be friends with someone like you. Um, so I like that. It was a good episode.